All right, hello. It's your Wednesday for geoguessing. Challenge start. We've gone from a diverse capitals back to diverse world. How we doing? Uh, I am doing just fine. Let's get the house cleaning out of the way. Thank you for thank you for the continued support in the watching of these videos. Much appreciated. If you have any suggestions for maps you wanted to try or any other games, say like the one that uh, went up yesterday for Dota. Again, I mean, it's been a couple of months that I did a Dota game. All right, I'm thinking this is Southeast Asia. Um, but if you have any thoughts about that or any other games you'd like me to try in general, let me know. I'm looking to... Maybe futz around some other stuff too, as I've said plenty of times, and now I'm actually doing it. Anyway, um, yeah. Brain just completely stopped. Anyway, I was listening to a podcast today, and it, um, got me thinking. Uh, it has to do with. I'm going to say Thailand for now, but I think we're in this area here. I don't know exactly where. I'm hoping maybe I can see a flag somewhere. We'll see. Um, it's one of the channels that I believe I still have suggested as something worth watching on, on the YouTube page for this channel. Um, I think it's Hat Chat. They started doing their podcast again back in April. And I actually started listening to it. And it... To me, it's interesting listening to, and they're actually just talking about their like philosophy and um, approach to doing YouTube stuff, and you know them actually having it be their basically full time job, and listening to how they're approaching things and their uh, goal. You know, it's all their only f source of income that and Patreon and other streaming stuff like that. Uh, it was interesting to hear. I don't know how many more times I can say the word interesting. But um, hearing them talk about how it, it's, it's kind of fortunate for me. Because, I mean, in an ideal world, would I actually want to do this as my job? I don't know. I mean, I kind of, these just workout exercise things outside? Cool. Um, I kind of just enjoy doing this as just a side thing. I mean, I do enjoy doing it. I enjoy the job that I have in the sense that it pays, pays me well enough where I guess I don't have to approach this as like, I need to put everything into this because this is my only hope of actually making any money. No, it's not like that. It's, this is fun for me. I enjoy doing this as weird as it is. Um. And I guess, you know, potential critique and other things like that. Like, Christ, a long time ago I had some comment, you know, harsh. It's internet, so there, there's very much a, a whole sense of, yeah, people are going to say this shit. But you know what? That's just what the internet is. There's always going to be positive. There's always going to be the negative. And it's just and how you approach it. Are you going to focus on all the negative stuff? Or just be like, I'm putting this out. It's... Essentially, it's it's garbage, I guess I call it. I mean, I'm usually pretty harsh on myself and how I uh, look at my own work. Like, I can't listen to my own voice. I hate it. I very much do. And that was just a lucky click around that area. It ended up being fairly close. This is another south? No, this is Mexico. Maybe? No, this is Guatemala. Okay. Um, yeah, it's I, it's just listening to myself talk. I can't do it. But, you know, hey, you guys, you're listening to it, and hey, thanks. <laughs> um, but I brought up an interesting point when they talk about having to deal with any sort of dialogue or interaction with any of their people who watch their stuff, support them, you know, and all that stuff. CA13, let's try to find that. And uh, it, it kind of brought to, 
I only bring this up because it kind of came up with a comment I got earlier this week. And it's it's kind of that dynamic some people can have when it comes to, I guess, talking to anybody they really don't have like a personal relationship with. But internet kind of makes things weird. Or like you can sit here and sit here and watch all these videos of some guy and kind of have just, or anybody in general, and kind of just have, feel like you've got some sort of report with them when you really, uh, like, you really don't have any. It's just kind of like one-sided. That it, you, You're just listening to them talk at you, and you kind of feel like you've got some sort of relationship or rapport with them, and it's really not that way. So when, like, you make a comment or anything thinking like, Hey, this is kind of a buddy, buddy thing. I shoot the shoe with my friends. Why can't I find Santa Alina? Why can't I find this? You like may just have like a ball busting relationship with your friends and feel that it's applicable when you're talking to this person uh, on the internet or this sort of dialogue you can have with your friends all the time. And, bring it to a comment you have online and be kind of surprised when someone takes it completely the, the wrong way. And um, someone just made a comment saying like, uh, that I never learn or pay attention. And honestly, that is a thing I feel like a critique I have of myself where I'm doing these things and I'm like, man, why can't I ever remember this stupid shit? It's really not that hard. And why can't I find these two places? This is driving me nuts. To zoom in a bit more. Maybe I'll do that. Okay, we're just gonna follow this road for now as I try to find either one of these two. Um, and then when someone responds back and you're like, whoa, they kind of took that the wrong way, it's just because the type of dialogue you can have with friends doesn't really seem to translate all that well when you put it upon somebody who's never really talked to you before. And it kind of worked the same way too when I made a comment back where like I'm just saying this as a jokey way it didn't seem all that serious and they kind of took it that way and I was like well that wasn't my intention but that's honestly the uh, internet in a nutshell when it comes to dialogue between strangers online you may think that you have a certain way of talking and it works just fine with your friends but when you basically say it to somebody else they're just like well, why don't you seem to take it the same way that all my other friends do? It's just because they don't know your dynamic. And why is this so difficult to find? At least Guatemala actually has very good signage. I'll give them that. Why can't I find T-Call? There's T-Call. Okay. So T-Call or Metamoros? Melkor de Mencios, huh? Okay, so we're at like the intersection of this. I got gotcha. you. And I ran out of time. I was going to click to even more specifics and nail it, but it didn't happen that way. Anyway, just know that that's an observatory. That's cool. Um, either of us seem to not intended for it to be a critical critique, harsh comment or anything like that, and it's fine. Moving on after rambling for a while. This is another Mexico one. I feel it is. Um, reading the book uh, that I got for this month, it's pretty interesting. Like I, I, I gave it a bit of a harsh critique, I guess. Well, kind of harsh. Last time I talked about it. And now it's pretty interesting it's like a lot of like little did you know tidbits and facts that they uh okay maybe this isn't they they sprinkle in there uh granted the last chapter or so this guy has had a very thorough explanation of okay this is actually europe very thorough explanation of the population of pre-european introduction i guess you can call it into the North and South America, and just how big of a uh, devastation, like smallpox and other diseases that the Europeans brought over, actually had on Zadar and Sib. Okay, I feel this is Croatia. Had 
uh, on, yeah, there's Sadar and Sibnik. Add on, okay, so we are maybe here. I'm gonna click. Let's, let's see if I can't see this, okay. Tribunge. Uh, zoom out a bit, see if I can't find Tribunge. I can't. But I feel like I'm at least pretty, I'm gonna go up here and maybe see that if there's like a highway sign somewhere, I'm not seeing it. Okay, we're gonna move and see if I can't see a roadway sign maybe here? No. What about here? Sibnik and Tirunj. So Sibnik. Tribunj. Hmm. There's Sibnik is this way. So Tribunj is, hmm. So we're like maybe south. No, I don't think so. Maybe we're around here. This is like a weird little spaghetti route of a bunch of roads. But one of the little um, factoids you could take is, I guess, the... Oh, we are in Trimbunge. Okay. Where are you, Trimbunge? I'm going to keep saying it wrong. I'm very aware. Like, anytime I say something that is at least not located in the U.S., I am going to butcher the way it's said. But they talked about the percentage of population that was wiped out by smallpox or other disease. Now I can't find Trabunge. And he said, if you took the entire population of New York City and the same amount of people actually died, um, the people who would be left over from New York City wouldn't fill up Yankee Stadium. And it's, it's, it's crazy, some of the estimates. I mean, some of the stuff was uh, critiqued, debated type uh, in the fields, but still, there's a lot of crazy shit that happened when the Europeans came over and saw shit. Yeah, it was, oh, yeah, I, I kind of got blocked out. I was close, though. Giving myself partial credit on that one. So, let this say Jupiter. This might be France. If not France, maybe Belgium. We'll find out right here. Uh, we've got Bay, Le Venus, Cugnon, Le Four Chemins. None of this is like popping out as telling me exactly what country we're in. We're near the Ardennes, though. Isn't that a French thing? Like a river? River Ardennes, I believe, is up here, isn't it? There's the Rhine. Hmm. Yeah, it seems rivers don't stick out as much on here. I'm going to click up in this area just for now. N865. I know your roads in this part of the world are just very <clears throat> suspicious. Let's see. These are all D's. Nope. Okay. Not finding anything here. Let's kind of head towards the center of town. Potentially more buildings. Potentially more chances for flags to be hoisted somewhere. I mean, I'm pretty sure this is France. Nineteen fourteen. No, can't make that out. We got a boar. I don't know anything about boars with parts of France. Jupiter seems to be a common thing. Why am I not seeing any flags? Bouillon. Hmm. Nothing yet. We're going to head this way a bit. Maybe, maybe one of these will have a, uh, nope, nothing there. These are very recent, though. It says 2019 on it. 
Dohan Bouillon. Hmm. Maybe this flat, maybe this van has a Ural. It does not. Hit home. We're gonna head this way. We got some palm frites. So they do mayonnaise. Isn't there certain parts of Europe where they prefer different types of like condiments on their fries? Um, maybe mayonnaise is a French thing, which is kind of gross to me, but I don't know. I don't get it. Mayonnaise is just kind of, it's okay, but, uh, in small, small, like, uh, amounts, I can't do just like a, a, a dollop of it on top of fries and just have a bunch of it with a fry, just thinking about that kind of is grossing me out just a smidge. All right, I got 26 seconds left to maybe see if this truck has a, uh, <clears throat> well, not seeing it there. Nothing there. One more. What do we got? Oh, well, we've transported to another time. This is Silent Hill in France. It's like I can feel how this smells. Oh, we were a little... Oh, we were in a completely different country. Well, there's Bouillon. Oh, goddamn, Control W. There we go. We got a chicane here. We're in Europe again. We are heading into a town. Oh, is this Turkey? Bureau Turistine? What do we got? Coral Snow? Hmm. Hmm. This doesn't look Turkish. So I don't. Hmm. Yes, before you. Okay, yeah, Pivo. Pivo. Yep, okay, this is Polish. Yeah, so if you're about to go, why the fuck do you think it was Turkish? It's like, eh, you know. Because at least the language in Poland doesn't seem too far off from what Turkish looks like. At least to me. I mean, I understand Wolo, I believe. Uh, the L with the little sideways slash are kind of W's. W, I believe. Man, it's been a while. All right, eight nine six eight nine seven. All right, so we have number system seven hundreds straight into nine hundreds. Let's go down here. Nine six nine. I'm gonna click here before I forget. I believe we're in this part of the or not. Got nine hundreds, and then straight to four hundred. Fuck you guys and your numbering. Nine two nine oh eight. Click up here so I. Man, there's this pocket of just nine hundreds, and then it disappears. Seven nine fives. Man, I'm just, it's doing that thing again where I'm not going to be able to find it. What do we got here? Nothing there. Okay. Where am I in the country? All right, let's go up here a bit. What do we got? 725. Let's go over here. 500. So maybe these are, the, the number system seems to be broken down into provinces. <clears throat> or not. I have not checked up north. Let's try north. Okay, these are hundreds. Let's go over here. Five hundreds. All right, let's try down here. Six. Six, six, six. Man, I'm getting mad. I can't find, okay, eight hundreds. Finally. All right. 
We're down here. I got 48 seconds left. 49s. 65s. 881s. 85. 890s. Okay. 896. 896, 897. Okay. Putting us down here. And we're looking for... Oots, whatever, I can't. Oots, whatever's, and Wall of State. Put us here, just so we kinda... No, we're like maybe here. We're near a park, I believe. This feels like a campground type place. And I fucking nailed it. <laughs> oh man, actually, not that far off from getting the 25,000. Oh, the closest was one where I was completely wrong country wise. But still, not that far off as far as points go. So good round, good day for a Wednesday. Ah, oh, feeling good. We only have a couple more days left till the weekend comes. Looking forward to it. I hope you are too. Anyway, folks, that's going to do it for us on this Wednesday. Thank you all for watching and your continued support. Like I said, any suggestions for maps or anything else, comments below. Any other thing you would like to put down below in the comments, along with like, favorite, comment, subscribe, blah, blah, blah. Put them down there. I will look at them and get back to you on them. Your Wednesday's done. Or starting. Yeah, my blessing to go continue doing the rest of your day. I'm going to try to do the same. Until next time. Have a good one.